Well, it is a holiday today, so um, I slept in. What time is it? It's 11? Yeah. I mean, I did other stuff. Didn't sleep in until 11. That's insane. I'm too old for that. Uh, today's job, I am finally going to write... I'm finally going to write the first issue of the paid subscriber newsletter, which is an attempt to reconcile the work of Christopher Alexander's The Nature of Order with software development. Um, as I probably mentioned in an earlier video and elsewhere, I'm going to be going over the 15 fundamental properties and transformations and trying to imagine what those look like um, as applied to software, taking these geometric properties, turning them into some kind of topological semiotic kind of thing, and just sort of, you know, trying to think it out uh, for myself as well as, uh, so it's effectively an essay in the classic sense. It's going to be a sort of a serialized essay. There's going to be 15 issues, one for each of the properties. There's going to be an introductory one, which is what I'm writing today. And at least one conclusory synthetic one uh, after I, I finish out the 15. And so I that is at buttondown.email slash nature of software. I'll put a link in the thingy. And so that first one's going out today. Uh, what else? Oh, I have to fix a thing. So I had a git destroy um, some stuff, some work of mine for the first time, which I had never previously experienced. Um, it killed a commit, uh, and that is no bueno. Uh, I don't think it was something that I can't replicate or repair, but, um, yeah, so first time, first experience with Git destroying information. I've been using... I've been kind of like, I would consider myself a fairly early adopter when it comes to version control systems because um, I never loved CVS. Um, CVS is shit. Um, it, I mean, it was, it, CVS is just RCS with network characteristics. Um, and it, and then, you know, I would say I, as soon as Subversion became viable, I started using it. But Subversion is, I mean, the mission of Subversion was to make a better CVS, was what, they're, what they were trying to do. And I think that, like, just abandoning that entirely, just that premise, was a, you know, a necessary move. Um, I used Perforce at work in 2006 and seven. Um, but I, at my earliest convenience, I was trying to find out about um, distributed version control. Uh, I used Darks because I was like trying to get into Haskell for a while. Um, and that was, I you know, was using it for about two weeks and it destroyed my data. So um, I got rid of it, PDQ. Um, Darks was kind of interesting though, like from a theoretical perspective, it just, you know, Haskell at the time, I don't know if people understand, but, uh, the string type in Haskell was represented as a list. So like anything, uh, was going to be O to the N minimum to access. And then like comparisons are going to be O to N squared and so on so like you like they fixed it eventually i think they made a text type that is a random access but like you know haskell in 2007 like that considering i was coming from Perl, where like it was just te text schlepping all day long and web stuff is like web stuff is just text text schlepping haskell was like i really wanted to get into it but like i couldn't use it for anything at the time i was like this is you know all the stuff that i'm going to need to do in programming is like not what this is for. So I turfed it pretty quickly. I wouldn't mind getting back into it. I mean, I think that like it gets a lot of things right. 
Darks did some really interesting stuff, but it just like its implementation just sucked and killed you know data. And like that's like the one thing you cannot have uh, in version control is just destroying data. Um, I don't love Git. Git is VHS. Um, I was using back in 2007 when I turfed Darks after two weeks. I moved to Mercurial, and that was like a lot of. I was looking around, and I think I picked Mercurial because um, because Firefox uh, was using it, or Mozilla was using it for all their stuff, and I was like, well, if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for me. And at the time, Git was like, it was just a bunch of shell scripts and like weird little C programs, and so there was no library interface, and like there was no, there's still to date, there's no official library interface for Mercurial. It's kind of like, uh, you know, yeah, of course you can use it um, if you want, but like don't expect it to stay stable. Um, but um, anyway, I mean, Mercurial is too c closely coupled to, um, to Python anyway. And so like you can't use Mercurial without using Python because Mercurial is Python. Um, which is, you know, whereas like Git has a libgit in C that has bindings for just about every language, um, plus the actual uh, implementation of the uh, of the repo implementation is an open spec anyway, so you could theoretically implement a, you know a Git backend without any of the original code, which I'm pretty sure libgit even is. Like I'm pretty sure Git and libgit are not don't even like Git. The program does not use libgit, the um, the library. I don't know. I have to check on that. But anyway, computers fucking suck, and uh, I'm gonna finish my coffee. Mm. And uh, subscribers to the Alexander newsletter, uh, keep a lookout for that. <laughs>